I'm going to talk about uh, Octoprint cool uh, plugin. Now, Octoprint used to have a cool uh, sort of plugin before, and they've removed it. I don't know why they've removed it, but there is a plugin that you can install and use Cura as before within Octoprint. Now, I didn't plan to do this video, so it might be a bit sort of jumping about a bit, but I think you'll get the basics here. Right, apparently there's a Cura legacy, legacy, that is, I think it's 15.4.01 or something. That's good enough for more slicing. I'm using, what am I using? I do use Cura, quite an old version. 15.04.6. I should just installed here from the plugin, just normal plugin manager, search for Cura, Cura Le Energy Legacy. I'm going to do restart now. Yes, that's all right, I'm not printing anything. So let that restart. Give it a few seconds and then quite often I like to click the button or I'll wait a few seconds to let it reconnect the server. I think it does reconnect automatically. It take a few couple of minutes as it says there. Reload now. So press reload now. But obviously I've got my printer plugged in. Give it a time, <laughs> sorry, a chance to boot up. And boot up the Raspberry Pi. That takes a little bit, few more seconds on top of the boot up. And log on to my Octo print account online. It's taking a bit to reload here. I might, oh, there we are. It's just starting to load, reload. I've asked it to go to the, this is a video camera. Yeah, I'm working on my video camera at the moment. So you probably see me waving there. Everything's upside down. I'm working on that video camera at the moment. So what I did, I went here. Spanner, tools, sort of thing, plugin manager here. And I click on get more down here. And in the search box, just type cover. Well, maybe it's because I've already got it installed. But you usually know how to do the ad. I missed that out, sorry about that, but you probably get the basic ideas. By the way, you do need an older version of Kura installed. Now, it does say I have to link this into my Kura on a website. Install Kura. Engine Legacy, well that's an old version, 15.4, well I, uh, as I showed you, I 15.4 6, I think, is that okay? And took a path to your Cura Legacy within Octoprint. Let me have a look. Um, can I upload SDL files now? I was shown SDL files. 
let me have a look let me have a look which ones have I got there so I've got back back I've got all of those so let me upload it completely different let's do this just to see if it does upload ah yes so it does do it here yeah, as you see through a legacy run locally so I think this is why you need to cover it excuse me but <coughs> slicing profile I do have my profiles from before I'll put file names notice it's not G code after slicing in this case I'm going to do nothing but like before you could do um you know ask I could ask it to print start printing select printer select for your printer etc etc let's do a slice I don't want to print this out so I don't do nothing do a slice in here this used to be pretty quick at slicing I might have to change my profiles actually because I have changed my profiles a bit since using this before. Slicing done. Let me have a look. And there we are. So now I can, there's a file so I can additional data, download it, remove it load load and print as normal now i'm not going to print this out because i don't want to print it out but that's a very basic look at that now i need to see about my profiles i've got the cover oops change up to 200 that's the only change there the save profile so save profile there save profile make sure it's going in the right place where I want it where I know where it is change cover filament types I click on that just because I want to I'm going to change this to 200 as a marker. So it's PLA 200 on the nozzle, 40 on the print bed, heat bed. Save that. So that's saved the new profile. I do want to import profile. Browse. 200, there we are. And it does give a a reasonable name 240 name 240 make that the default all right any existing confirm so now i have that and uh, that's set the default ah so now i can it seems like i can delete these old ones i don't want to do i don't want to get mixed up and what happened there so now I have this default 240 that's my profile okay let's upload this file 10 millimeter board sort of shape so legacy engine yes that is the only profile I've got I think now and this is a uh, my name is going to make do nothing slice slicing down here at the bottom quite a small file so it should be pretty quick if it is obviously I could have said go straight for print that's what we normally do there it is there can I can slice it again apparently I can delete it And got print on there oh no that's that's sorry i'm looking at the wrong one this is the one that 
it's got the STL file there. These are D chords. Notice that it doesn't say D chord, it says DCO, but that is the G chord. I can load and print, remove it, download it, etc. I do want to delete this, I don't want that on my. But that's the basics of using Kua. Don't forget, it's a legacy. You can't do any more than 15.4.6, whatever it said. 